Push-ups. How effective are they and does it work to simply do lots of them? Well, I had these exact questions 30 days ago when I started this journey. So I got on the computer and did a bunch of research. I watched hours of videos and read a lot of articles. And the truth is, it's somewhat confusing. Everybody has their own opinion on how effective push-ups really are. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and put push-ups to the test. And here I am, 30 days later, with over three 3,000 push-ups done and a burning question inside my head. Have push-ups really done anything to my body? The push-up is one of the most common and widely used body weight exercises and it is supposedly beneficial for building upper body strength. Not only that, but you can do the push-up almost anywhere. With no equipment, they target mainly the chest, shoulders and triceps. Yet, the core, the biceps and even the legs are all engaged when doing push-ups. So I decided to do 200 push-ups every second day for 30 days to see if push-ups could one, help build my muscular endurance and two, build any visible upper body muscle. I'm gonna test how many I can do in one go and how long it takes me to do the 200 push-ups And obviously we'll have a look at before and after photos at the end as well The reason I'm doing 200 push-ups every second day is I would do a hundred every day But from all my previous fitness challenges 90% of the comments say so you gotta have a rest day So I'm gonna give myself a rest day tomorrow is my final day of this 30-day challenge And I'm attempting to do 200 push-ups in under 10 minutes, but let's just quickly take a look at where I started so 30 days ago, I dropped down into position. This is day one. All right, so this is what I look like. Day one. So oh, I'm pretty keen to see what I look like on day 30. Starting on zero. Let's see how long it takes me to do 200 push-ups. There we go. So on day one, I started out just doing normal push-ups, attempting to do as many as I could in one go. <coughs> well, that's 30 down. Yes, only 170 to go. Granted, I probably could have pushed out a couple more if I'd really tried, but that was pretty much the level where I was at to begin with. How long should it take me to do 200 push-ups? How long would it take you? I feel like if I can do it in under 20 minutes, no, that's heaps long. Under 10, five minutes for 100. That's pretty solid. What am I doing talking? All right, last 10. And the full 200 push-ups took me 15 minutes and 10 seconds. Man, I'm gonna smash that. All right, the challenge is on. And then on day two, I already found it hard to begin. I've been through multiple day challenges before, and I know it's not always sunshine and rainbows, but it's a pretty daunting feeling at the beginning of a 30-day challenge, knowing you've got to endure a lot of tiredness, a lot of discomfort, a lot of pushing through pain, and just staying consistent even when you'd rather stay in bed and watch Netflix. I mean, it is so easy to excuse yourself, to say no one's watching, no one will know, just do them tomorrow. But I knew if I did that, it would change my mindset and I wouldn't be staying consistent to myself and I would lose that motivation to complete this challenge. So I set a reminder on my phone, give me 20 push up. And I set that for 7 p.m. So every night, if I hadn't completed them already, the reminder would come off my phone and I would just have to get out of bed and tick it off. So I kept going, I kept pushing through every second day, dropping down and doing 200 push-ups. Now five days in at about day 10 of the challenge, I watched a couple videos of different push-up variations and I realized that to really get the most of this push-up challenge, I should be switching up and mixing up the types of push-ups that I was doing. So I started doing 10 sets of different variations of push-ups. I continued that way for the next few days, just trying to push out as many different variations of, of style push-up that I could do. And man, that made it so much more tough. You can imagine, just dropping down to 200 is, is hard enough on its own. So to mix it up and do all these crazy variations of push-up and still do 200 of them, it took a lot longer. So my time really went up and down. Some days I'd be smashing a 15 minute mark. Yes! Some days I'd take me like almost 20 minutes to complete the full 200. And of course there were some days when I was just in bed and I was like, why do I have to do it? Just like, give me a break. I'm tired, it's late. But how are you guys 200 push-ups? I owe myself 200 push-ups. All right, let's get it done. I managed to kind of roll out of bed and my mindset that I would have is, just give me five, bro. Just start with five push-ups. And when I had that mindset where it's only five, I can do five, no worries. As soon as I did those five, I'm like, okay, another five, give me 10, give me 20. And it would just like build it up. So I have that bit by bit mindset, give me five. And once I've done five, it's easy to do 10. And then it's just on a roll and I kept going. In that way, I, I managed to stick with it and, and just keep pushing out 200 every second day. Another 200, 70, 60 to go, 50. Come on, Laurie, you can do 50 easy. Nah. 40. 30. And the feeling that I would get after I finished the 200 push up, it was, it was always worth it. Yeah, improving. Slowly, I could feel myself improving. All right, this is day 15. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling fit, but I want to test now how long it takes me to do the 200 push ups compared to day one and how many I can do in the first go. Three, two, one. 50. Probably could have pushed a couple more out then. 
finding a good balance between pacing yourself, you know, and then and then just trying to pump out a few more reps. Yeah, it's tough to know what's the most effective, efficient way to do it. Let's go another 10. All right, about 40 seconds and 30 more to go. Uh, yes! <laughs> I'm improving. Oh man, that feels good. Finally, after 30 days of pushing through the discomfort of doing 200 push-ups, I arrived at day 30. Tomorrow is the last day and I'm ready for it. I'm ready for war. I wanna see if I can push out my full 200 push-ups in under 10 minutes, which I have not done yet. I've got damn close 10 minutes and 35 seconds, but I still haven't managed to bloody smash the 10 minute mark. And I'm really hoping I can because that was my main goal. <sighs> All right, here I am on my final day after a long journey. It's a beautiful day outside and I'm excited to see how much I've improved since day one. Got the timer going, 200 push-ups in under 10 minutes. It's gonna be tough. Let's see if I can do it. One. Ah, oh, yes, 70. Okay, on guitar. Yes! <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. Finally, after 30 days, nine minutes, 18 seconds for 200 push-ups. Maybe my push-ups weren't ideal form, but I do think they're probably similar form to how I did them on day one. So I'm still pretty happy with that because day one takes me over 15 minutes and day 30, nine minutes and 20 seconds. Yes! I've been wishing for this day for so long. I tell you, I haven't been able to do it. That's the first time I've ever done that. That feels so good. So I guess now it's time for the before and after photos to see if I look any different to day one. All right, here we go. Over 3,000 push-ups ups later this is what I look like now I'm gonna try not to tense too much because I had a look at the before video that I took and I wasn't tensing too much so I want to try and make this a fair comparison but this is pretty much how I look on day 30 of my push-up challenge <sighs> I mean, if you look at that, it looks pretty much the exact same. So I'm sorry if that's a little disappointing, but I'm just, yeah, trying to be honest with you guys. If you look closely, I think there's a small difference and I definitely feel a bit more toned, but yeah, definitely not a big difference between day one and day 30. I mean, it's hard to tell. Normally these things can be quite minuscule, the difference, so it's not always super visible, but I definitely feel good and I feel fitter than I did 30 days ago. I managed to increase my first set of push-ups to doing 70 and I managed to drop my time down to 9 minutes and 20 seconds. Not only that, but I can now complete the full Bring Sally Up challenge. Oh. Yes! yes! Oh boy. Dude, I just got it. Oh, it feels good. Just so cool because if you guys saw my previous Bring Sally Up challenge, you would have known how far I got. And now I've managed to do the full song. For me, that's just kind of proves to myself just how much I actually have improved my strength and my muscle endurance over the past 30 days. I'm going to go and post it. I'll put the link to my Instagram in the description of this video and then you guys can try it with me. I'm pretty happy with this challenge. Yeah, I don't look much visibly different to when I started 30 days ago, but it's a good feeling of accomplishment knowing that I've managed to stick to this challenge and push through the discomfort. It sounds weird to say now, but I think I found a little bit of a love for push-ups. It really does feel like you're working your full body. Now that I know like all these variations, it just I feel like I can get such a good workout just doing push-ups. And now I want to know what you guys think of this challenge. Is it a good challenge? Did you enjoy it? Would you try this? If you would try it, let me know in the comments. Either way, I'd love to hear from you guys if you enjoy the video and if it's something you would try. And if not, maybe you have a better idea. I love hearing your challenge ideas. They're always inspiring me and I love reading the comments and seeing what you guys have to say. So as always, thank you so much for all your support and I'll see you next week.